So a customer brought in a laptop, they got off uh, off lease from work, and it's got a BIOS password and copy trace enabled. So if you log in with just a blank user, we're able to see the settings and that supervisor password is on. And deep theft copy trace is also on. And if we go into the settings for boot priority, uh, we're not able to change it. So we can install Windows because the drive is also locked. So in order to remove it, you have to take the laptop apart, pull up, pop up a couple of screws, open the case. Now we find the BIOS chip here. Now we're gonna have to remove this BIOS chip. So I touch each leg with the soldering iron and then I use the heat gun to just pop it off there. Then it goes into the programmer. Once it's in the programmer, we do two reads on the computer and then we use a program to verify them. We get the custom patched BIOS, which I had to buy from a company because I don't know how to do it. I'm not gonna waste time on it. Uh, once you're done, you put it into the system with a new file. You boot it up and you put a default password of one, two, three, four. Once this is done, it'll run their little bypass that they have. Um, you hit that, it'll give you a hardware ID. You provide it to them and they'll give you the unlock key. Once you enter that key, it's gonna be unique for every computer, so I can't reuse this file on another one. You enter the key, space a couple more times. Now it just bypassed the TPM security. So now you go ahead and turn off the laptop, disconnect it. Now we're gonna have to take out the chip one more time. Again, we unsolder it. Now we put on the original file with the password, program that, verify it afterwards. And then I clean up solder pads, get ready to put it back on permanently. We don't need to take it out again. Install the chip. Now reconnect the CMOS battery, power it on while hitting F2 to get into setup. And now you can see the password is now disabled. The copy trace is also disableable, so now we can put it permanently disabled. It's no longer there, and we can now change the boot order. Now we're able to hook up our USB, and we can install Windows just like usual.